Hi, it's uh, Martin here again. Uh, another video on uh, uh, film, film cameras. I've done a review on this camera in my um, on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can see under the uh, playlist uh, classic cameras from the, the past. It's the Voigtlander Bergheil, which is a 6.5 by 9 uh, folding camera. Now this camera was built in around about 1927 and it has a lovely uncoated uh, Helia lens. Uh, because this uh, camera was uh, initially designed uh, to be used with um, glass plates, uh, you get the full 65 by 9 uh, glass plates. Uh, but to use film in this camera, you'd have to use what they call uh, film holders with film sheaths. But uh, unfortunately you can't get that size film nowadays. So to do that, you'd have to cut it yourself. Uh, again, if you look at that video... Uh, the review on the Berkheil, you'll see I show a way that, that you can do that. But the easiest way um, to be able to use these cameras and to use film that you can uh, actually get hold of still these days, uh, which will be 120 roll film, you'd have to use a film back on the back of these cameras uh, to enable you to do that. And the film back that you can use, uh, and they're quite cheap to buy, and the quite readily available on eBay is the Rada 120 roll film uh, back. This um, holder would give you an, a negative size of uh, six by nine, so that's more of a, a standard size. And it's great for using film scanners like the uh, the one I use, the Nikon uh, 9000, that the 120 roll film goes into the holders. Uh, so you know. Uh, it does make life a little bit easier using the 20, 120 roll film. Once that's loaded into the uh, camera, or fitted to the camera, you fit it that way, it's sliding on the, on the back. And then you can see it's fit securely to the back. And then that means you, you're going to get eight uh, 6x9 photographs. But first of all, I'm going to show you in this video, before I actually go out and take a picture, as I say, I've done a, a review of this, but I've not actually done a video of actually using the camera, uh, taking photographs outside. So that's what this video is about as well. You, loading the film into these uh, RADA uh, 120 roll film backs, some people have a problem and they don't know how to overcome it. And it's overlapping frames. There's a, there's a sequence you have to follow uh, when you're using 6x9 in these film holders. So in this video, in the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to load the uh, uh, 120 um, roll film back with film and how to wind it on so you get the correct spacing uh, for uh, 6x9 negatives. Right, this is the Rada 120 roll film back. To open it, you pull these two spring catchers backwards and the back opens. And in there we've got the film holder uh, inside the film back. Uh, now, to load the film, we have to remove this film holder. But we can't do that because the actual spiral that connects to the film spool is in the way. Now, to get that back, we simply get hold of the um, wind knob and as we're pulling it, turn clockwise and the spindle goes flush with the actual back itself. And that means we can remove the film back. We've got to remove this uh, spool, so we pull back this spring tension here, take that out and move that to the front of the holder, there, like that. And then get the film, I'm using Ilford FP4, and it's important to get the film the right way around. So we want to be able to see the black packing paper, and that's going to go over this wheel here. So to do that, we place it in that uh, uh, spindle, fixed spindle at this side there. And then pull back the uh, flexible spindle, as you might call it. And then the film's securely held in place. And then we pull the film round. Oops, I'm all fingers and thumbs. And it goes over that front roller. like that and then give it a little bit more 
and then it just connects into the actual film spool itself. And just give that a little manual wind and then get the film back. Sorry, not the film back, the the the, uh, the holder itself. Place it back inside, and then connect that spool that we recessed into the actual film itself. And now it's now it's connected to it. So it means when I turn it clockwise, we can see the film is moving. Now we're going to wind the film until we see the start mark in those two windows. And close the back and just to show you what's happening on the front I take the dark slide out that's the backing paper there that's the size of the negative so I'll always make sure that this uh, dark slides in and then we open the window we can see this now on this and we're going to be looking at the top window I think it's the top one this, sorry this one here that one there and we're going to wind to number one that's it if you can see that we're at number one that's showing on that window close that down and they that's the first exposure now where people make mistakes with this back is they take on a, especially on six by nine they take one photograph and then the wind to number two but all that's going to do is overlap number two with one the number one negative it's because the film hasn't been wound far enough along to go to the next frame. So as always remember when you're using these with, uh, with 6x9 film, it's if you start, you start at number 1 and always wind to odd numbers. So you go from 1, miss out 2 and go to 3, miss out to 4 and go to 5, and so on and so forth. And that way you'll get the 6x9 frames uh, and you'll get 8 shots on one roll of 120 film. So that's how to load the uh, router back. So I've got the uh, camera set up and the idea is to print this on Epson cold press bright split toned. And it's these flowers here. And I do like the actual shape of them. They're just going to fill up the negative in a nice composition. Because the flowers are not uh, vertical, they're uh, sloping backwards from the actual bottom flowers to the back. It's sloping backwards that way. You can see what I mean that way. I've got the camera pointing down because I don't have control with this camera playing a focus. I can shift uh, up and down and sideways, but I can't tilt the actual uh, front uh, standard to match the plane uh, of focus on the actual flowers. So to overcome that I've angled the camera so the film plane is similar to the actual plane of the flowers and uh, uh, the only way I can control the depth of focus is by using depth of field. So what I'm going to do now is check in the ground glass screen. I'm going to be viewing wide open uh, with this lens it's f4.5 and I'm going to look at the top flowers and focus on those now obviously everything's upside down reversed on this ground glass screen so the top flowers are at the bottom of the ground glass screen so I'm going to focus on those and then check the uh, bottom flowers and to see if they're in focus and they're slightly out of focus so now I'm going to stop the lens down slowly until I see the actual uh, bottom flowers come into focus. And then just refocus. Let's have a little bit of depth of field to play with now. And that looks about right. So the aperture that I'm going to be working with is I can hardly see them, so I've got to look with my loop. Is f9. So I'm working at aperture of f9. 
hopefully that will bring the you just see this the the uh, bottom flowers and the top flowers into focus although with this we've got all sorts of planes of focus we've got it running that way and we've got it running this way so I can't really stop down too much because there's a little bit of wind and uh, movement which I don't want to uh, to get too much blur in the picture so now I'm going to take a light meter reading the exposure is going to be I'm using Ilford FP4 and I'm rating it at box speed but first of all I'm going to measure the dynamic range and we've got three stops of dynamic range on this so I think what I'm going to do is develop this in a, a developer called Pyrocat HD and I'm going to do uh, an, an N uh, N plus development time so I'm going to measure for the shadows and that's giving me exposure of 30 for a second at f8.5 now I'm at f9 on this camera but I've gone beyond the bellows um, extension the bellows are, are out a little bit further than they should be and it's going to eat some of the light that's uh, reaching the film plane so I think it'd be fairly safe rather than to use F9 uh, to use F8 to compensate for that little bit of bellows extension. So I'm going to set the uh, camera's uh, shutter speed which will be 30th of a second. The nearest I can get is 25th which is not going to make a lot of difference that. It's an old camera so we get the old uh, numbering. It's not like the modern uh, cameras. So I've got that set. Shut the lens. Well, I'll just leave it open, I'll just check again, everything's set properly. Quite bright this viewfinder, but I'm just going to use my cardigan as a dark cloth. That looks fine, the composition. And this is what I'm seeing through the viewfinder. So I'm going to uh, take the actual ground glass screen off. Place in the router back. That's in tight now. And then Move the uh, camera set setting from Z, which is Zeit in German, to M, which will give me the exposure uh, times in brief seconds. So I'll just uh, test the shutter now. I haven't used it for a while, so I'm just going to fire it a few times. That seems fine. Cock the shutter. Shutter's closed. Take the dark slide out. Just wait till those flowers stop moving. Dark slides out. Just wait until the, the wind just stops. Just give me a little bit of a window. Right, dark slide back in. And one important thing to remember when you're using rollbacks is to wind the film onto the next frame so as, as i said previously loading this i'm going from frame one to frame three and that will give me my six by nine negative so we can open the back there's the film all wound up nice and tight and then to remove it i pull this way and turn clockwise Take the film out, lick the backing paper and stick it on. That film's ready to develop. So I'll go get this uh, film developed now. Um, I'm going to develop them in Pyrocat HD. I'm going to give an M plus time. Uh, the reason I can do N, N minus N plus times on this roll film is because they were taken in the same light and the dynamic range was uh, very similar around about three stops so I'm, so rather than push the contrast too high i'm going to go to 
uh, a plus uh, uh, n plus uh, one time if it had been uh, if I'd have taken the first picture today and then the next day taking some more pictures and it was a very bright day and then the following day took more pictures on a very dull day I probably wouldn't have been able to use the n uh, plus and then minus times uh, because the actual uh, dy dynamic range uh, of the scenes would have varied but this because it was constant I can do the the n, n minus n plus times so that's it you've seen the um, or you might have seen the um, video review of the Voigtlander Burke Isle uh, that's on my YouTube channel if you haven't done check it out and now you've seen me using the camera taking photographs outside using the 120 roll film back in this case the rider back the folding cameras uh, in a lot of respects are a much more fun camera to use than say the 4x5 camera or the 8x10 camera in my experience they are anyway because you're not having to carry all that weight of the large format camera but you're getting in a small package a camera that can produce very high quality results and in this case I'm getting 6x9 negatives which you know they're not small they're a very big negative and you have that ability uh, with that size negative to crop in if for some reason you didn't like the 6x9 format using these cameras uh, it's a different experience to using say the large format camera the focusing screen on these is very very bright they're easy to focus and they uh, give a different experience using them than saying using um, a 4x5 camera or for that uh, matter any other type of camera and uh, that's the fun of uh, film photography every different type of camera gives you a different experience using them so if you ever get the chance to buy one of these on eBay or um, a camera fair I'd say try one and because I'm sure you would enjoy them especially when you use them with the uh, 120 uh, roll film back